Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Maggie. And today I have a very fun video. I'm gonna be doing a full unboxing of the super trendy Balenciaga, I think it's pronounced the Le Cagle, Le Cagle. I'm gonna leave the name on the screen, but it's the Balenciaga, the newest Balenciaga shoulder bag. I think, believe it comes in two or three sizes, a small, medium, and large. I got the medium size. I have a lot of mini bags in my wardrobe right now, and I'm getting sick of not being able to fit everything I wanna fit in my bag, which is not a lot. I just wanna fit my phone, my wallet, my vlog camera, like some lip glosses and stuff. It's not that much, but I find in some of my mini bags, especially my little like Jacques Mousse bags, I can't fit that much in it. Um, so I decided to go with the medium instead of the small just because I want to see how I would style it. I want to see how much room the bag has. Um, so yeah, this is a review of the medium size. So full disclaimer, this was sent to me from the website Forward, which basically is the sister of Revolve, but it has a bunch of designer pieces, a bunch of designer brands on that website, like Balenciaga, for example. But yeah, let's just jump right into the video. So it came in a big box like this. I've already unpackaged it and did like a little mini unboxing over on my TikTok. So if you don't follow me over there, definitely go check that out. So it comes very nicely packaged. There's a big box and then a little box. And this was packaged beautifully. It had really nice wrapping paper and a little bow around it. If you watch my TikTok, you'll see it. So of course, the most important part on the inside is the Balenciaga bag. So this is the little dust bath that it comes in, and this is the shoulder bag. So I can already tell this is super spacious. I mean, I think it's absolutely beautiful. All of the hardware detailing around it is so stunning. It has the iconic little mirror right here, and then on the back, it also has a mini little coin purse or wallet, however you want to use it. I'll move closer so you can see some more of the details on the back. So the strap has this really pretty braided texture. Um, you have the details all along the side. Just an up close view of it. And then on the bottom, it does have these little studs to protect the bottom of the bag. You also have a little zipper on the back, which I think is really nice and convenient. It also has this really pretty sort of reptile snake texture. So yeah, that is the gist of the bag. Okay, let's go into the bag and see how much we can fit in here. From the looks of it, I feel like we can fit a lot of stuff. So there's a lot of space in here. Like you can definitely fit way more than just your phone, vlog camera, wallet. This gets a lot of room, which I appreciate. On the inside, you have the Balenciaga logo. Um, I'm kind of surprised at how much you can fit in this bag. Oh, I also, I didn't even see this. On the front, how it clasps in the front like that, if you open it, there's also a little zipper right here for you to put, I don't know, lip gloss, a coin pocket. Oh, that goes down pretty far. And yeah, what I really like about this is that you can adjust the strap to however long or short you want it. So this is the shortest that it goes right now. And this is what the bag looks like when it's on the closest notch to the strap. So it makes for a perfect little shoulder bag like that. If you wanna hold it on your arm like this, this is also really cute. I'm gonna put it to the longest notch right here and see how long the, the strap can get. Okay, so this is how long it looks um, when you have it on the second to last notch. So this could be perfect for a crossbody. You'll see it when I put it on on the try on part. So I really like the versatility of that. It just depends on how long or short you want the strap. I feel like for this size bag, I'll most likely stick to having the strap shorter just because I think it's the perfect size for a little shoulder bag. But if you want it as a crossbody bag, you have that versatility to have it as a crossbody. And here is what it looks like when it's on its shortest length. I'm gonna put it on one of the middle ones so you can see that as well. So this is the fifth notch down and that just makes it a little bit longer. So here is what it looks like with the notch on the fifth hole, so like kind of in the middle of the strap. Um, it sits perfectly on the side of my hip, which I really like. 
so yeah super cute i think this is such a stunning bag um i feel like i could get a lot of wear out of it so because i will be creating content with this bag make sure you're following me over on instagram so you can see a little bit more of how i would personally style it um specifically in the fall time because it is fall in new york so the question do i think this is worth it so i do think this is more of a trendy item but because it's in this really pretty white color i do think you can get a lot of wear out of this throughout the years just because it's white it will go with anything i just think they paid attention to the detail of this bag which i really appreciate and yeah i think this is just a really cool city street street style bag there's a lot of ways that you can style it plenty of room for you to fit all of your necessities like your phone wallet camera whatnot i think this is a great running errands bag just because you could fit so much in it if you're someone that likes more smaller bags especially for like going out or anything i probably would go down to the small size um i'm not sure how much you can fit in there i just know for me personally i know i would want to fit a lot in here. Let's get into the pricing. So for the medium, this is $2,450. So that is the end of the video. If you have any questions for me regarding the bag um, that I didn't answer in this video, make sure to leave me a comment down below. You can always DM me on Instagram as well. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I guess I will see you guys in my next video.